G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am going to do a big tray today. Look at this, it's huge. This is my big extra large tray mold. And um, I'm going to use this for the handle. I'm just going to pop it in the center. This is actually um, part of, you know, the, the three tier cake stands. Um, and you join them all together and but I only want to use the, the the top one so that's what I'm going to do I don't know what I'll do with the other two but anyway <laughs> it seemed a bit of a waste spending the money on just buying the one but I just want the top because you know I've done two handles before either side but I just want to do this um, now also I've got these look I made these little silicone bubbles or whatever you want to call them I don't know so anyway I saw something like this um, on Instagram and I thought oh I want to try that so that's what I'm going to do today so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the molds nice and clean so I've gone through with my masking tape and um, got off all the little bits of hair and dust and stuff and basically I'm just going to attach these I'm just going to stick them down Silicone does stick to silicone. It's going to take me a little while. I don't really know what I want to do with them yet, but I just want to, I want to have a little bit of a gap between them. Um, I probably will end up having a little bit of um, under, like underflow with them, um, but we'll just, we'll just see how they go. So uh, I've got that size, that size, and then the little, the little dude. Um, they are white deep so you've got to use a deep mold this one is my 15 millimeter deep mold um, so yeah they are they are relatively deep I guess they remind me of boiled eggs <laughs> I know so um, I've got a little bit of trimming to do on on some of them but I, I kind of just I don't know exactly what I want to do yet but I kind of want it just to be sort of half around half side there and then leave that open but I don't want it to be just all in one I might sort of have it coming out and then back in or in and then I don't know we'll just have to see how it goes but basically that's what I want to I want to try so that's what I'm going to do today so we'll just it's basically just like a little puzzle ready really I'm going to fit them all together I haven't trimmed off all my little pieces yet but We'll just <laughs> look. Oh, it's stuck together. Um, is that a hair? Nope. So yeah, I thought um, yeah that might be a bit of fun, hey. So this one come will come up a bit here, and then we'll come back down a bit there. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I'm just winging it, you guys. I'm just winging it. I am. Um, I've got enough big ones. Just trimming off my little bit of my little bits of excess there. Not really sure how I want these to look just yet, but it's like a puzzle. Actually, I should make sure my little bits aren't flying into my mold, shouldn't I? I don't want to use too many of the little ones, that's mainly the big ones, but I think. There's a hair. And then um, once I've done this, is it too many just there? I don't want it to look too placed, so I don't want to have like a big one, a small one, and, and then a big one and a small one. I'm trying to make them look kind of more natural. Let me know what you think I should call these. Um, they're, they're totally different to my, um, you know, my bubble tray and my bubble coasters and all that sort of thing. They're made a different way. So I don't really want to call them bubbles. So, but let me know what you think. These little, these little guys, what we should call them. It's a bit of glitter in there, gosh. Use glitter once and that's it's everywhere, isn't it? It's just everywhere from then on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm 
might put you there. Just want like an abstract kind of a look really. I'm only going to be using alcohol ink to colour my, my resin. I'm going to be using um, black alcohol ink. I am thinking though, the way these are moving, I am thinking I may just put down a really thin layer first just to hold them down. Because some if like if you've used um, you know silicon inlays, you may have noticed that they sometimes like to float. So I may I may do that. I may just um, put down a really thin layer of clear first, and I can use my platinum 360 plus to do that. Yeah, it's sort of starting like a thin area and then getting bigger and then it's going out and meandering around and kind of need like a little thin, a small one at that end to match this end, hey? What do you think? About that? Does that look about nice? Stand back, have a look. I think so. I, like I don't want to overdo it. I just want it to be a little bit of, wow, look at that, you know? How'd you do that sort of thing? So I don't want it to be overtaking. Um, these will be on the bottom, so we still will have a, a what you're seeing here is going to be the top. All right, um, I think I think that'll be all right. Um, I'm not going to put the handle in just yet. I'm going to go mix up some resin. I'm going to just put a, pour a very thin amount in just so that I can get these stuck I, because I'm worried that if I fill it up, they're just going to all float to the surface and it'll be ruined. So I'm going to make some resin. I'll be right back. All right, I had a bit of a change over here but <laughs> I think I'm happy with it now. I've got a bit of a gap there and a bit of a gap there and a bit of a gap there. Now I'm going to use my black alcohol ink from Let's Resin. Um, I'm just going to pop in one drop. Hopefully that's not too much. Hopefully it's not too much. It might be too much. Take some out. How do you do half a drop? Like, you know, I just got to be careful it's not too, too dark. Probably should have put some on a toothpick, actually. I'd rather add some more later than, you know, put too much in now. So let's just, just going to add slowly. Because, <clears throat> you know, the, the more that you add, like the deeper it goes, it's going to look darker. Okay, that's not quite enough. <laughs> But I think the whole drop would have been too much. So this is the Platinum 360 Plus. Um, I did 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B. Um, I'm just going to... Oh, where will I do it? Over here. I'm just going to pop some on a toothpick. Like that. And put that in. There we go. I think that was like half a drop. I think it's on half a drop. It was like I said, the more you know, the deeper it gets, the darker it's going to look. So that's that's kind of, that's the shade that I'm wanting it to be. And you can see it's just a, a gorgeous sort of smoky grey kind of a look. And I think it'll look really nice with that black handle. But this is only going to be the very first layer. Um, just, to, just to sort of stick these spheres. Can we call them spheres? They need a name. All right. I'm just going to give my resin a few minutes just to for the bubbles to subside. And um, then we will pour this. All right, so it's been a, a few minutes. Now the other thing I want to do is, I don't want to just pour the resin straight in. I'm going to try and pour it onto a stick. Just so that, um, and then let it run in. Hopefully that will also help with minimizing bubbles. So yeah, I'm just hoping that 
there's a bubble that popped I'm just hoping that um, we'll just have a really thin layer um, just enough to basically stick these spheres into is that a good name for them spheres domes Hopefully I've got enough to actually fill up the base of this mould. It's going to take a lot of resin, isn't it? Oh gosh. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of resin. As long as I've got enough to go in here, I may have to just mix up another little bit actually. By the looks of it, I don't really want to scrape the sides. Because you can get some of the alcohol ink that's stuck to the side of the cup. Um, and then you get that streaky kind of a look. So don't want that. Let's just make sure we've got this in between all our little spheres. There's a drip there. Don't worry you know, if there's a drip on it. Don't, don't worry about that. Because it's going to get all covered in resin later anyway. I am going to have to mix up a bit more and just cover that because I don't want to like it might look different like a different color or something if I don't do the full layer now it might look a bit different do you think it might <laughs> I'm gonna just mix up another little bit um, this well this was 140 grams so I think if I just do another hundred I think that'll be that'll be fine all right I'll stop fiddling with it uh, I'm gonna mix up some more and um, I'll add it and then um, I will come back to you when this has basically set enough for me to add the next layer there's a little bubble there but I'm just gonna actually scoop it out because you can scoop bubbles out. It's probably easier with a little silicone brush like this. You can just scoop your bubble out, wipe it on some paper towel. Because you don't want to be going torching. It's a very thin layer of resin. You don't want to be torching it because you can melt your melt your mold. All right, how's that looking? Oh, there's another bubble there. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to put up, put a little bit more resin in, um, and then we'll just wait probably three hours, and then we're going to come and fill it up. And that's when I'm going to use the river table resin because I can, it's a deep pour, so I can fill it up then. All right, see you soon. So it's uh, the next day, and this is what my little domes are looking like. <laughs> They're stuck into the resin. They're stuck in there nice and hard. <laughs> so you can take this opportunity to clean off the tops if there's any bits of fluff or dust. Um, just give them a, a dab with the uh, masking tape. Just make sure they're all clean. So that's what it looks like now. Um, I have mixed up um, about two cups, just over two cups of the River Table resin and um, that's what I'm going to be using today. Let's zoom you back in, there we go, put you back up on the stand. Um, yeah, so really happy with how that's working at the moment. Now, um, back to the black resin. Now <laughs> it should be a bit easier to put in this time. Um, because I've got like two cups there so um, one two buckle my shoe let's try two see what that's gonna look like it can be a little bit darker than what's here this was a good little test I guess so that was basically one drop in one cup of resin oh that's a good way to look at it one drop in one cup and now this is two cups and I've got two drops so 
Yes. I'm just trying to decide if I want to do another drop. Like I know it looks darker in there because it's it's you know much deeper. Um, but if you if you put a little bit on a piece of paper towel, you can see that it's really not very dark at all. So it's it's a bit tricky to judge exactly what colour you want it to be. See, I want it to be this colour. Um, so I guess I should put another drop in because that's the colour I'm wanting it to be. Hey, a bit darker than that. There we go. Oh, it's a bit nerve-wracking. I want it to be. I want it to be darker. So let's do that. All right. So I'm going to add that. Um, I am going to just pop my resin in my vacuum chamber because I've got it, and I might as well get the bubbles out of it. So stir it up first. Wipe the sides down. If you're going to use a vacuum chamber, make sure that your resin is in something that the bubbles can rise up to. You know, otherwise, if you if you use something that's the resin's quite full in already, your bubbles are going to all overflow. I think that's looking good, you guys. All right, I'm going to see you in a minute once that has been vacked. All right, that didn't take long. I put it in once, and it's absolutely bubble free. It's a really nice thin resin though so it's not going to have lots of bubbles anyway. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just pour it onto my stick. Still go slowly. And then if there are the occasional bubble then you can just flick it out. That's a bit of a glitter. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, now I don't want to put the handle in yet, I don't think. I'm in two minds about the handle. Do I put it in now? I, I can do, it's just that it's going to come up, the resin's going to come up the handle quite a way. I guess I'll just decide once I've finished pouring this resin if it's going to be even deep enough. Um... I might not even have enough to cover all my little domes. I don't know. Oh, see, I've got streaks here now. Why have I got streaks? Oh, gosh. Mustn't, mustn't have um, stirred it properly. I don't want streaks. See, see that? Can you see the, the streaks there? I'm going to have to get rid of those. You do not want streaks in your resin. You want this... Crystal clear, but obviously <laughs> smoky grey, but crystal clear. You don't want any bits of streakiness in there or any bubbles or any bits of fluff or anything. I am going to have to make up some more resin, but I might as well use this first. It takes a lot, doesn't it? But look, I've chosen a really big mould, and I have chosen to put these domes. They're not spheres. Did you know that half a sphere is called a hemisphere, as in hemi, which means half? So they're actually hemispheres or hemispheres. I don't like that word though. <laughs> I'm going to call them domes. So there we go. Uh, yes, yeah, so I have chosen a big mould, a deep mould. And look, look how cute that looks with the little domes poking through. Still got a few little streaks there. All right, I am going to mix up, gosh, um, I do need these covered though. So when I did my first layer, I did one cup and that was probably about three millimeters. So it probably would just cover them, but I'm going to play on the safe side. I'm going to do like one and a half cups. And then because this is so deep, I'm not going to put my handle in now. Um, I'm going to wait until um, 
this has set enough and then I'm going to come in I'm going to come in with my um, what's it called my platinum high temp it's really really hard, hard it sets rock hard you can put in a dishwasher it doesn't leave rings things like that for the top coat I'm going to do that so I'm going to mix up an, another one and a half cups of resin and uh, I'll be right back Righto, uh, I ended up mixing up just over a cup, so 200 grams of part A and 86 grams of part B. I thought one and a half cups is like 375 grams-ish. I didn't think I'd need that. And I also just double checked that my bench top was, or my board here was level. It was a little bit out. Only because when I was doing the skull the other day, I um, I tilted it a bit, and then because the skull wasn't level, and then I forgot about it. <laughs> Look, we've only got this tiny little bit here left, so we should have should have enough. I'm hoping it's the same colour. Look, it's covered! Yay! I'm not going to scrape the sides. I'm going to just do a little bit of blending because you can't get each layer, well, each cup full of resin exactly the same colour. This one had probably half a drop more alcohol ink in it. It's slightly, slightly darker, so we'll just give it a bit of a swish around, very gently. I don't want to encourage any bubbles. I do want it all to blend. All right. So that's pretty much it done now. Now there is a little bit of room left in my mold. So once this has had a chance to cure enough for me to do my top coat um, in the high temp resin and that's when I will put my handle in. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, it, it'll be tomorrow. This will just have to sit here till tomorrow. I will cover it with a box, a plastic container, uh, so we don't get any dust and fluff and flies in it. Um, but yeah, I'll continue just smoothing that off and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next step, okay? It's the next day and my layer has set enough for me to pour my next one on now this is the platinum 360 plus and i have just mixed up 80 grams of part a 35 grams of part b and hopefully it's enough to just coat this surface it took me a little while to work out exactly where the middle was, <laughs> so I, my little handle is just standing there. First of all, I got a tape measure and I went from there to there and then halved it, and then there to there and then halved it. But my middle kept moving, so that wasn't a very good idea. So anyway, I ended up putting the handle in there, and then I measured from the handle to the edge and then the handle to the edge, handle to the edge, handle to the edge, and then I, that's how I got my middle. So that was the <laughs> that was the best way I I could figure out how to do it. So I'm be careful I don't knock it over. And I put like a tiny little bit of the black in, just on the end of a toothpick. I didn't want to have it clear. I just thought I'll just have a, a just slight bit of the black just so that every layer is the same if you're looking at it from the side okay so that's that's it now I very slowly just carefully push this to the edge uh, if there's a few bubbles I can just pop them because you know it's it's not very deep they should just come to the surface easily and I am making a few bubbles by doing this I might go to my other my other little tool this one seems to be easier to do this sort of thing because it's it's just easier because it's got a flat end and then the handles up here so basically I'm just going to push this to the edge 
make sure it's all touching the edge. What is that? Gosh, there's always something in there. Um, yeah, and then I'll give it a quick torch and that will be it. Oh, it's looking so good, you guys. I'm really looking forward to unmolding it tomorrow. So yeah, that'll be tomorrow. So I'll just, I'll continue pushing all this to the edge and then I'll give it a, a quick little torch like that. So anyway, I will continue um, and then I'll see you when it's time to unmold. Righto, guys, it's time. The time has finally come. Oh my God. It's such a long wait, having to wait two days to unmold something. Normally, um, you know, I'm unmolding the same day. So <laughs> having to wait two days is just so hard for me. It's so hard. I'm not very patient. Right, I'm just going to go around. Oh, it's a big, heavy mold. That's probably easier if I just do that, hey? All right. Let's loosen it all the way around. Now... Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I put on a different background. I thought it would look better when I. A greyish background. Oh my gosh. Now, all right, this is going to be the, the tricky bit because I need to be able to turn this over without. Oh, how am I going to do this? Ah, it doesn't matter if I touch it, will it? I need to be able to turn it over. I don't want to, oh, I just got to be careful. I don't want to like break, I want to break that off. So I'm going to have to hold it here. All right, can you still see? Oh gosh, hopefully we haven't had too much resin run under. So this, this I love doing this. We're going to peel these out. Look, is it this like a really thin little layer of, of resin? Um, actually, I'm going to put those, where did, I, where did I just put it? I'm going to put it there. So it's easy to throw away later because they're, they're difficult to pick up. All right, here we go. Here's another little thin layer. So once I push them all, once I, you know, put them all where I wanted them um, and then poured the resin over just a little bit, I went on and I just pushed each one down like that. I don't know if I showed that. Anyway, I just pushed them down. Um, and a few little bubbles sort of popped out un from underneath. Um, and then, yes, because you've got to make sure they don't float. I mean, even with a tiny little bit of resin around them, they, they tend to want to just microplane <laughs> around. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Are you coming out? Yes. I'll save you for later. I'll turn you around and see what's going on. Hopefully nothing's going to get stuck. I was really careful. Oh, get off! Get off my finger! Get off my finger! <laughs> they stick to you. All right, I'll try and be quick. I'll turn this around. thin layer again just fast forward guys if you don't want to watch me do this <laughs> you're gonna come out are you gonna come out there we go try and get that little bit off as well now if to use these again just spray a little bit of alcohol on, on the base there and just wipe off any excess little bits of resin that are, are still stuck there. It's easier than trying to pick them off because they're so thin, you know, such a thin little piece of resin. So, <laughs> look at that. Uh, I love doing this. It's a fun part. It's the little fun part. Some have got more bits of resin on them than others like that, these couple haven't got any it's just if anything's run underneath or not I don't think I've got any no I haven't got anything that needs sanding I've got my little pile there <laughs> I will, I will sell these if anyone wants them. Um, look, they're a little bit tricky to make. 
they are. Fiddly, you know, just time consuming because they're so small. But I'll, I'll most likely um, sell them in, in groups. Like I might do six large, six medium and six small in a, in a pack. Would anyone, I don't know, you guys let me know. Would anyone be interested in in those at all? Oops, let me get this. There we go. Another one. Nearly there, nearly there. Just like to peel that off before I take it off. Just easier for me to clean up later. And definitely put it on a piece of paper towel. And so it's, yay, it's out. They're all out. Yay. All right, let me move these out of the way now. It's much easier to have them all on a piece of paper towel and you can just pick it up and tip it into the bin rather than having to try and pick up all those little pieces. <gasps> look, you guys, look. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it. This is like the coolest thing I've made. Oh, get all those little bits of silicone off. All right. Now, here we go. It's a, it's a nice, it's a decent size. It's a decent thickness. I don't think it's going to warp anytime soon. There we go. Look, <laughs> we can have it that way. Can you see? Is it in? I don't know that you can see it all. It's so big. Oh, yay. <laughs> it's so cool. What do you think? Now you just leave it like that. You don't fill the bottom up with anything. You just leave it. Um, and that's, that's basically it. So yeah, cool. Um, if you wanted to, you could put some edging, like a silver. I wouldn't go gold. Like personally, I wouldn't do anything to it. But if you wanted to, you could put a little bit of silver on the edges there. But there you go. <laughs> what do you reckon? Oh gosh, we've got a problem with all the ring lights again, haven't we? It's so cool. I love it. I wonder if I can take you away from the ring lights come for a little walk up here it's always good having a little having a little walk somewhere else look at that it's a good chunky size isn't it hey it's so cool all right thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed my video and um that's well, not good on this <laughs> on this bench either it's just a black bench we'll go back <laughs> oh it'd be cool on a mirrored surface wouldn't it yeah anyway <sighs> glad i unmolded that it came out so well. i was so excited woke up this morning yay it's unmolding day <laughs> all right gotta go moving on to my next project and it's going to be a really fun one too so I will see you all for that one real soon so thank you so much for watching and um, take care I will see you all real soon for the next one all right bye for now